Not really just because we try to play you know, one game at a time, but we know what Mizzou got. I mean, I, everybody don't watch them on TV before, and I don't watch them a lot of the games this year. And uh, we know Mizzou is a good team. They like to spread the ball out and throw the ball around. So we've been, we going. I know we're going to start looking at it tomorrow and start making up a game plan tomorrow. I know the coaches probably already started. So once they give us a game plan, we're going to try to go out and execute it. Defensively, can you take anything away from this game in preparation for Missouri? I mean, this was a team that, while they didn't not nearly successful with Missouri at, at doing the up-tempo stuff. I mean, I feel like Troy was a pretty good team. Troy is not, um, it's not bad as a lot of people take him out to be. And uh, I just feel like the coaches had a good game plan. We. Tell you too, we probably only ran like a quarter of the plays that we we went over in practice. So, uh, and I guess they kind of helped them out a lot. But I feel like coach had put a, put together a, a good game plan to come out and play against Troy. You guys went against a run heavy offense last week in Arkansas. You transitioned to more of a pass heavy offense from Troy. I mean, how much big of an adjustment was it? You had to make adjustment during the game. I, mean, I feel like it's not a. It wasn't that big of an adjustment just because we come out and play football. I mean. Yeah. You gonna come out and start. If you know a team's gonna start to run, we got we got small linebackers. We still start to run. We got small linebackers. We got to start to pass. So I mean, it's like having a lot of safeties on the field that can make tackles. Like Connor is a great tackler. Denzel, me, Keith, and all the small like safeties. So. And spread offenses. How important is it to stop the run, even though they might throw the ball a lot? It's very important because. I mean, if you give them, if you give, them, if you let them run a lot, then they gonna spread you out and keep running the ball, keep running the ball. So I feel like. All we want to try to do is stop the, stop the pass and, you know what I'm saying, make them run. If we make them run, I feel like we're going to be in the game. Missouri's receivers run about 6'4", 6'5", 6'6". Can you talk about uh, what adjustments you make defending bigger guys? I mean, just line up and play. I feel like every year, I mean, if you look at Mike Hill and you look at Carlos Davis, you look at all our corners, basically, all of them short. And I feel like the whole year they've been doing great. So I just feel like they just got to come out and play, you know what I'm saying, with a chip on their shoulder. You said a couple you know, weeks ago when we talked to you, you know, it may take a little while, but you're going to get that uh, aggressiveness back after your injury. You had a sack and a forced fumble today. Do you feel like you're kind of getting back to your old form? Yeah, I feel like I am. You know, the coach is not really trying to throw me out there as fast. You know, yeah. They don't want me to get another concussion. And, and if I get another concussion, I'm out for the season. So I just feel like they just keep working me in, working me in, working me in. When I get back to 100%, full 100%, yeah. I feel like I'm going to be okay. Defensively, I mean, y'all got all the guys back last week, but – Kind of a up and down performance, if you will. In this game, did it feel like uh, y'all rounding back into form, so to speak? I just feel like a lot of us didn't come out to this game, you know what I'm saying, ready to play defensively, ready to play. And, uh, and you know, like they scored an early, early touchdown on us, that kind of made us upset, and we kind of stopped them throughout the whole game, really, and then they scored at the end. So, I mean, I feel like once our defense pick it up and know what we got to do and, and go hard, I feel like we can go hard.